Hello everybody, I'm Mrs. Langan and today we're going to talk about circles. And you're going to learn all the different names that belong to a circle. Now, first of all, let's just look at this great big circle here. As you can see, there's a circle that starts up here and goes all the way around. And you've got a nice big circle. You can have little circles, you can have huge circles, it doesn't matter what size they are. There's always a circle is round, okay? So now, look at, um, let's look at some of the definitions. The very first one I'm going to say is that there is a middle to a circle. And this is called the center of the circle. Now this is very important because the center of the circle actually allows you to draw a circle. If you had something like this, a stick, and you went around and around and around and around, you would actually draw the circle. So that's why a center is very, very important because every length from here to the edge, if you draw a line anywhere like this line, from, that length is always going to be the same no matter where you are. So the center of a circle is very, very important. Okay, so that's your first thing you have to know. The second thing is, is something called the distance around a circle. So you have, this is the shape, the circle, and if you wanted to find the distance around, you don't just say distance, you say another word. So let's just travel around this circle for a minute. This whole length, if you keep going and keep going, and if you had a measurement and you measured how long that was, so if you measured all the way along here, and you kept measuring and 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 measuring, and then you could find out how long that's the outside of the circle is. So this is called a circumference. The distance is a circumference. Can you think of another way that you might be able to measure that circumference? I can think of one other way. This is a very difficult way. Another way is if you had some string and you made the nice circle, then you can just take the string out and it opens up into a nice straight line. And then you can measure it easily with a ruler. But then a string, you'd have to make sure it's exactly right, okay? So that's the length is circumference. This is the circle and we named the length something different, okay? So the next one that we have is number three. It asks us to find the line passing through the center touching two points on a circle. Oh, okay. Let's think about that. Is any line, so I'm gonna pretend this is a line because it's nice and straight and it doesn't bend on me. And I'm going to put it through that center. So I've got it in the center, right now through the center. But it says it has to pass through the center and touch two points on the line. Oh, this only touches one point right now. There's a center and one point. And it goes sort of halfway up. So I need to go like that. Now it's touching two points. Hmm, let's look at this. Look, that one is going through and is touching two points. Is there any way you can draw a straight line through the center and make it touch two points that will not look like this? No, there isn't any way. So it's always going to be going like this right to there. It won't touch anywhere else. It's gonna be a nice straight line and that's called a diameter. And a diameter is not this, this is not a diameter because it doesn't go through the center. It touches two points on the circle, but it doesn't go through the center, so it has to go like that. And notice it goes from one side of the circle completely to the other side of the circle, always. Okay, so that's called the diameter. Let's just write that down. Diameter. Okay, now you've got the last one, line from the center to any point on a circle. Ha, huh. so if you go like this, notice here's the line from the center to a point on the circle. And you can draw another one too if you wanted, it could be anywhere, any line that goes from here to a point on the circle. 
and that will always be going out like this. There's another one, okay? And even one that goes on top of this, it will be half of the distance of a diameter. And this line, any line that does that, only goes halfway through, is called the radius. This is a very important word because sometimes you will see radius used in other, other areas, like even in your body. One part of your, your bones in your, in your body is called, is, has that word radius in it too. So people use this word a lot. Okay, so let's just do this very quickly. This is, let's go through and review, the circle. The length of the circle is called circumference. The middle of the circle is called the center. If you draw a line that goes from one end to the other end of, this, of, a, of, a, of a circle through the center, it has to go through the center, that's called diameter. And then from the center to a point on the circle is called a radius. Okay. Have fun with this and see if you can even memorize how to spell all of them. See what you can do. Thank you and have a good day.